Coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good morning. Let's get you up to date on the latest with this winter storm that's moving through the Wabash Valley. As we look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracking, see it's indicating a mix of precipitation across the region. All these different colors indicating a different type. So blue is snow, green is rain, and pink is a mix between the two. And storm trackers are having a really hard time distinguishing which type of precipitation is falling because temperatures are really close to the freezing mark. So what is shading over your area may not be what you're seeing outside your window. We are expecting more snow over the course of the morning, but at times rain can mix in since we're so close to that freezing mark. When you see these darker blues, that indicates some heavier bands of snow that are starting to set up, and that's where we're going to see most of our accumulation from these heavier bands of snow that will quickly reduce visibility and allow that snow to stack up a little more quickly. Because fortunately, since temperatures are near the freezing mark, a lot of this so far has been melting on roadways and sidewalks and things like that. But you get under one of those heavier bands, it may stack up a little bit quicker. So we'll put Storm Tracker into motion. You can see these bands are lifting off to the north. And that's going to continue through the morning. But it's not just this area of snowfall we have to get through. We can zoom out on the Storm Tracker, and you can see there's a lot more still to our southwest. And the center of this storm is still down to our southeast. So it's going to continue to wrap all the snow around the back side. And so as more of these heavier snow bands form across central Illinois. Those will also wrap through and pull across the Wabash Valley. So that's why we're expecting our accumulating snow. But notice just down closer to the Ohio River is transitioned back over to snow. And as this tracks up to the northeast, we may see some of that rain scoot into portions of Davies and Martin counties. And that's why all along we've been anticipating some slightly lower totals in that part of the Wabash Valley. So we look at temperatures right now. Again, everyone really close to the freezing mark. We're either at 32, 33, or 34 at all of our reporting stations. So at times some rain may mix in with the system. And as we look at our weather alerts, the winter storm warning will continue for most of the News 10 viewing area through this afternoon. The only exceptions to that Davies and Martin County under the winter weather advisory, again, because they're expecting some lower totals there with that rain going to be mixing in. So to take a look at Futurecast, get you through the rest of your day. If you do have to be out and about, this morning is going to be the worst of the conditions. So if you can hold off any of your travel to this afternoon, that should allow road crews to get out on the roads and try to get things cleaned up because we're expecting less snow by the afternoon. So we get through 7 o'clock, still seeing the widespread snow. Same story for 8 o'clock. But notice down here to the southeast, some of that rain edging into the area, and it may extend farther up to the northwest than Futurecast is indicating. We'll advance this through to 10 o'clock, still seeing the snow. But at this point, I think the heavier snow is going to start to taper off. So it's going to get lighter as we go through the morning. And by the time we get to 11 o'clock around lunchtime, you can see the snow starting to come to an end farther to the south as this whole system tries to exit the region. So the widespread snow comes to an end early this afternoon. However, we'll still keep some light snow showers in the forecast through the afternoon and evening. And farther to the south, where temperatures will be a little bit warmer, maybe a few light rain showers later in the day. So as we get to 6 o'clock, still seeing some of those isolated snow showers. And we're going to keep those in the forecast tonight and into the daytime tomorrow as well. We'll stop future cast at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still seeing some wraparound moisture spin across the region, so we can still see some minor accumulations tomorrow, but the bulk of it's going to happen today. Tomorrow accumulation, maybe a half inch, localized amounts up to an inch. So most of the snow will fall this morning, but snow is still going to be possible as we get into the day on Thursday. So our snowfall forecast has largely remained unchanged, even with the rain being a little longer to last here in Terre Haute, four to eight inches for the northern half of the Wabash Valley, with two to five farther to the southeast. Again, I think that eight inch is going to be more localized if you were to get that much. You get under one of those heavier snow bands for a while. That will allow that snow to stack up more quickly. And another thing to remember, as I mentioned yesterday, since temperatures are so warm and the ground remains warm, we made it up to the 40s yesterday, as the snow falls, some of it's going to be melting at the surface. So by the end of the day, you may not be able to measure this much snow outside in your yard. So as we look at the forecast for the rest of the day, 36 degrees for the high with accumulating snow, mainly in the morning, with rain mixing in at times, especially to the southeast. It will be breezy, but since the snow is going to be the heavy, wet variety, blowing snow isn't as much of a concern for us. Tonight, 28 degrees. Snow showers become more scattered about. It remains breezy with the wind out of the west at 20 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, 31, scattered snow showers, mostly in the morning. Again, not much in the way of accumulation tomorrow. Wind gusts still as high as 20 miles per hour. And the seven-day forecast shows a few flurries remain possible even into the day on Friday. Saturday, we make it up to 42, so a cloudy start to the weekend. Then another system comes in here Saturday night may mix with snow as temperatures drop near the freezing mark, but then on Sunday expected to change over terrain as of now, followed by some colder air into Monday.